I think one of the writers <laughs> uh, wrote a script for uh, the sequel trilogy of Star Wars where Rey was a robot. Um, I'm, I'm, so- I'm sorry, what? Well... <laughs> what? I, I don't know much about this. I know what Jenny Nicholson told me, and there was a script written where Rey was a robot. A robot. Like... Like, Force Awakens, where she was secretly a robot the, the whole time? You're a fanboy! No shit, Sherlock! I'm sorry, I'm researching right no, now. No, it's okay. <laughs> Do a lot of people not know if they're robots? Because it was then reimagined as Rise of Skywalker. So, like, he wrote the <laughs> script, and then it never came to be. Would that have been better, though? I, no, apparently it was really bad. I don't know. Only because Jenny Nicholson's uh, thumbnail told me it was. Okay. So, you know, she also didn't like Joker, and I hear that that's a really polarizing opinion. So, take it with a grain of salt. Why didn't she like Joker? I don't know. I didn't watch it because I did like Joker. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm a little bit interested in what she didn't like about it. Was it because about this sad, depressed, pathetic man being beaten down by society? Shut the fuck up! Everything that we know about Rise of Skywalker, if you were to tell me there was another script where she was a robot, I think that would make more sense than Somehow Palpatine returned. I know that sounds really dumb, but I would have preferred if if she was a robot and made in a lab and just pumped full of metachlorians and that's why she is everything that she is versus, okay, I'm the goddaughter of the greatest senator of all time. Mr. Secretary, you have just testified to the American people you're incompetent at your job. Um, I don't see her being listed as an android or robot. I don't care. I would, I would have I don't liked... know. Did Jenny Nicholson lie to me? I don't think so. The media wouldn't lie to us, but... ABC News Nightline, brought to you by Pfizer. You know what? I'm kind of falling in love with this idea that Ray's a cyborg or just some kind of clone malfunction that they load her up with all these things and somehow she escaped and her parents left her there because they were on the run. Holy shit, I love this idea so much better now. They left her on that planet... Because they were being tracked by the people that were uh, trying to get her back. And then they knew they were going to follow her, so they left her on this planet and just, you know, left to uh, protect her. But based on what I said, though, what would, would that be a better idea than somehow Palpatine returned, though? If she was just an experiment that they pumped full of stuff and her parents left her because they wanted her to be safe somewhere else? If they wanted to make her a robot, I think they could have made anything work. The problem is they don't have writers who are willing to make anything work. So you can't just say, yeah, Ray's a robot, and then everybody's like, well, that's dumb. Like, I believe that a good writer can take an idea and bring it to a fruitful conclusion, one that people can be proud of. The problem is if they do it poorly, then everybody's going to be like, that's the one where Ray ended up being a robot. Well, as I always say, a good, competent writer could turn shit into Shinola really easily. Shit. Shinola. Son, you're gonna be all right.